So I'm at my electronics workbench here. I've been working on restoring this old shortwave radio. I just got done replacing all the capacitors in it recently, and it's sounding pretty good. I've got the body for it over here in pieces, so it's a little hard to tell what it looks like, but I'm going to strip all the paint off and repaint it and put new decals on it, so it should look brand new. But in the meantime, there is a way to add uh, an electronic eye, magic eye, tuning indicator for this. So I've got the schematic for it here. I'll probably put a link to uh, where I get that from in the description. Um, so this is a way to tune it to exactly the right frequency when you're tuning to radio stations. And uh, I have all the parts for it. I scrounged some uh, sockets and resistors and capacitors and diodes and junk. And uh, I actually have this old military transmitter that I'm probably not going to restore because it's missing a few parts on it. And I might use it for other things. But it has this electronic eye tube in it, which I'd like to use for something. So this is pretty much perfect for that. So I'm going to go ahead and build this. It should be very simple. It'll just, everything will just be soldered directly onto the socket. Uh, I'm not really going to go over the electrical characteristics of how this works. Um, not really the best person to ask for that, but I'm going to go ahead and build that now, and um, I believe I'll make a little uh, chassis for it to go along with this radio. So this is all this little project is going to consist of. A couple of capacitors, a socket, some resistors and some diodes, and the magic eye tube itself. And there's the completed circuit. It's all just point to point on the socket. Just see easier that way. I'll go ahead and wire this up to the radio and just test it out. Okay, I've got it hooked up to the radio, just temporarily, obviously. I'm going to power this up and see if it works. Okay, I'm going to slowly add some power with the Variac now. good so far. Got to 90 volts. I'm gonna kill some lights here. Okay, all the power's on. Let's warm up for a second. Oh, there it goes. Excellent. Probably the first time this tube has been lit for 60 years. Let's see how it does with tuning. So I just remembered that I had to turn on the automatic volume control for this to work. Uh, also called the automatic gain control. And so now it's out of tune, but if I tune to the station, that, that, but by see the eye closing. Up, you know, um, if I tune back out, it goes out. The Byron poem about cleansing the. There's um, tuned and untuned. Perception. Uh, and that, that people start to see. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. It is working. It closes the eye when it tunes, which is great. It was a nice little hour-long project. So the next part of this will be to put it in an actual box, probably one that'll paint to match the case of the radio itself, and then make a cord that'll go into a socket which will fit on this connector here. But I think that'll be it for now. I'm really happy with how that turned out. So thanks for watching.